Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I wanted to talk about cosmetic procedures, what I've had done and when, so that those of you who are new here could be up to date on my anti-aging journey. My channel has grown so much in the past year, so thank you everyone who subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate your being here, but I know a lot of new people here might have questions, don't know my history here on YouTube, don't know why I started my channel and uh, you know not a day goes by that I don't get a question uh, in the comments below videos or a DM on Instagram saying hey did you get new cheek filler you look different hey what's going on with your eyes you look different um, and so I just wanted to clarify and update everyone on everything I've ever had done take a little like history <laughs> So if you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with us. And if you aren't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to get over a million subscribers and that would just be so awesome to get us a little bit closer there. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget to like the video if you like this kind of content. So let me just start by saying that the whole reason that I even started my YouTube channel is because I was curious about anti-aging procedures and anti-aging skincare. Um, I was turning 50. I was having quite the crisis over my 50th birthday because I had been a sun worshiper for about 40 years. I started roasting my skin in the sun when I was nine or 10 years old. I can't even tell you how many sunburns I've had in my life. And of course, I didn't wear any sunscreen back then, never did until I turned 50. But then all that sun damage was showing up on my face and I was really unhappy with how I looked at what I thought was the ripe young age of 50 years old and I didn't feel like my face reflected the youthful person that I wanted to project to the world. So I started looking for information on what skincare I could use that would help my skin look better, what procedures I could have done that would help my face look better, and what I found out was that there was nothing out there at that time. Doing a YouTube search in 2012 on IPL or laser treatments or skincare turned up a bunch of 20 to 30 year old people who were having all these things done, but mainly for acne. There was no one in my age group who was giving any really like good information of what you could expect or how much things cost or what it felt like or showing me before and after pictures. And I was like, you know what? I want to do that. I want to be the person that is going to show it all. I want to pull the curtain away. Like, I don't like it that we all have to speculate about what celebrities have had done because they will not tell us. And I'm like, what is the big secret? What is the big secret? Are we supposed to actually think that you're some like freak of nature who doesn't age? You know, nobody's a freak of nature who doesn't age. There may be people who didn't go out in the sun and who are aging better than others. There may be people who have genetics on their side and so they're aging better than others. But it shouldn't be a big secret. I started my channel in October of 2012 and so one of the very first videos I made was me going to get an IPL treatment. Since then, every single time I have any procedure done, I do a video on it and I tell you about it. I do follow-up videos on it, so I'll do a vlog video the day of. I'll do a video explaining to you how I chose the procedure, why I chose the procedure, how much it's costing, where I went to get it, who paid for it, and I show you that in one video. Then I come back you know, however long it's supposed to take to um, show the results, whether it's three months, six months, a year, two years, I come back at regularly and I show you up close, you know, good before and after pictures with no makeup, with consistent lighting. So this has been my goal since the get-go on my channel. So in addition to making a video about everything that I have done, I also put all the videos together into a playlist. So if you ever want to know about everything that I've had done, you can go ahead and check out this playlist right here. It's my anti-aging procedures playlist. You can watch them all. So it's no secret that I get in office procedures. I don't get a ton of them in my opinion. I don't think I look completely fake. I don't think my forehead like doesn't move, which is, you know, these are comments that I get from people. Man, do you have to have a thick skin to be out here on YouTube? Good thing for me. I don't really care what other people think. Uh, so that's just kind of how my channel started. So let's go to the Wayback Machine to the first procedure I ever got, which was when I was 45 years old, way before I was ever even 
a thought of being on YouTube. I had my first Botox done. I had to put it right in here in my 11s. That's because with all that being out in the sun, I was a scowler. That's how my face works. Some people look you know, are out in the sun and they squint up and they have big crow's feet. Some people get the worry lines across the forehead because they're always lifting. I always look mad. So these two lines were permanently etched in there. And since I started doing Botox then, it has relaxed the skin and now the skin isn't used to being creased there. So even when my Botox is fairly worn off, I still don't have the creases. Then over the course of the years, I started getting it a little bit more up into like the middle of my forehead. I never do out here too much. I always want to have some movement in my forehead. I mean, I have Botox in here right now, but as you can see, I can raise my eyebrow, I can scowl. So I get it done about every four to six months. On me, it tends to last from about 10 to 12 to 14 weeks, something like that. Then over the years, I did start getting, just a few years ago, a little bit in my crow's feet, but I get very little in here. I only get five units on each side, which is not much. And even when I get it, it doesn't completely erase my crow's feet. What it does for my crow's feet is that it softens them. But when I smile, big smile, and I'm really super happy. Eee! There they are, there's my crow's feet. Then also before I started my channel, I had laser hair removal done in my armpits. Um, I don't think I've done a video on that, but uh, you know, it didn't work out very well for me because my hair isn't that dark and whatever. So uh, I think I had four treatments. It didn't really work that well. I think it got rid of about 50% of my hair, but still the other 50% was still growing. Then also before YouTube, I got veneers, my social six, which is the top six here. I uh, One of my teeth was gray because of a root canal that I had done years and years ago, and it was just dying. Um, so I got veneers on there. All right, the video that launched my YouTube channel. I had an IPL treatment done in October of 2012. I had three more treatments done, one every month until January of 2013. Um, I wasn't that happy with that. Uh, if you watch the first video, I was really happy with it because I liked seeing all like the crusties come up and flake off and everything. But that's why I like to come back a few months later and show you how the results are then. And by the time I had finished with the fourth one, I was really disappointed with it. So if you only watch one of them, you get kind of a different impression than if you watch the next one. And that's why I put them all together in a playlist so you can see my opinion on it after I've had time for it to settle in and, you know, do its thing. Because some of these things take a long time to work, like the results aren't instant. Um, like with lasers and things, like with Botox and filler, pretty instant, but with other things, not quite so instant. So that's why I do multiple videos on each. Then in January of 2014, I got my first filler. I got Juvederm in my nasal labial folds. I had been to my Botox doc and she had told me that she could tell which side of my face I slept on because the nasal labial folds were um, bigger on one side of my face. That did two things. It made me want to get filler in them and it made me start sleeping on my back, which is one of the best things that I've done and it's completely free. Um, so, you know, I just when I say that I'm into anti-aging in all of its shapes and forms, yeah, I like some procedures. I like to try procedures to see what they're like and to do videos on them. But I also like to do things that are absolutely free and that have done such amazing things for my skin, like sleeping on my back. So, you know, I also have videos on that. So, you know, if you want to see a video on anything, just go to that um, search box at the top of YouTube and type in hot and flashy, and then whatever it is that you want to see, and it'll come up. Juvederm, which is what I got in there, lasts up to a year. So I had that done in 2014. In October of 2014, so about eight months later, they came out with a new filler and that was called Voluma and I had Voluma put in my cheeks. Now, usually with Voluma and the pictures they show you on the website, those people have had anywhere from three to like 10 syringes of Voluma to really give you that full face look. I had one syringe done, split between the two cheeks. So I had a half and a half. So just so you know, the other thing about me, I kind of go conservative when I do a treatment. I don't like them to put in as much as they normally would at the first visit. I don't want to come out looking not like me. This is kind of part of my anti-aging philosophy is that I want to look like the best me I can be. I want to look the age that I feel. I don't want to look fake. I don't want to look overdone. You may disagree with how I look, that's fine, but you know, this is kind of how I go into it. So I usually do conservatively the first time that I've had it done. And I gotta say on most of these things, I've never had them done again. So 
go figure. But I did like the Voluma a lot, but nobody noticed. Like, if I hadn't done a video on it, no one would have noticed. And a lot of the comments below the video were like, you wasted your money, I can't see any difference. So that's how conservative it was, okay? Just so, just so you know, the people who are always like, oh my God, the cheek filler, you have to stop. You've done too much cheek filler. I'm like, I did such a minimal amount of cheek filler. How many years ago is that? Seven years ago? It's not still in my cheeks. I've never had it done again. <laughs> I've shown you this in video after video after video. When people think I have cheek filler, it's the highlighter that I use. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Every time I wear this, without fail, people ask me about my filler or accuse me of having way too much filler in my face. So anyway, a little makeup goes a long way. <laughs> So that was October 2014. I've never had that one done again. I've never had the Juvederm done again. Um, then in February of 2016, I had a Fraxel dual treatment done on my face. I loved that. Watch the videos on that. I think I did three or four videos on that where I took you with me. I showed you while I was getting it done. I took you, I checked in like every hour afterwards, every day afterwards. Then I do the before and after pictures. So you really get to know what these things can or can't do. I was very happy with that. Again, did it conservatively. Most of the time for someone with my level of sun damage, they will recommend and at least two up to four treatments. That's where you can expect to get really great results. I have it done once. I have never had it done again. Not because I didn't like it, not because I don't want to, but I haven't felt like I needed to. Now, one thing that I've seen other people say in response to other people in the comments below is people ask me about the laser treatment that I've had done and someone will reply and say, oh yeah, she had laser resurfacing. That's not what this is. This is not a resurfacing laser. I had a fractional laser done. So it basically drills microscopic holes in your skin. So it only um, damages a small percentage of your skin. It doesn't resurface the whole thing. That CO2 laser, that is like the big guns and I have never had that done. I've also never had a chemical peel either. I don't have secret procedures that I don't tell you about. I've actually had one surgery in my entire life and that was to get a baby out of me. And um, other than that, no plastic surgery, nothing surgical on my face whatsoever. I know a lot of people think I've had my eyelids secretly done. I have not had my eyelids secretly done ever, ever, never, never, ever. Never have I ever. Seriously, you guys, I've never had any plastic surgery anywhere on anything on me. Then in April of 2018, I had two procedures done because I was, you know, talking about them in my year end wrap up video and the company that makes them heard me and they offered to have them done for me. So I took them up on their offer. Um, this is the only time that I had my procedures paid for. And that was I got filler in my hand that was called Radius and both hands actually, not just one. And I also had all therapy done on my neck and under here, my lower jaw. The radius really did make a big difference in my hands. Um, I was not prepared for how much it hurt. I would have to think long and hard before I had it done again. I mean, I'm not really that thrilled with how my hands look in general because you know what? I'm a thin person. They're vascular, they're ropey, they're veiny. They, <laughs> they're working hands. I do a lot of yard work. I do a lot of housework. I do a lot of stuff. So my hands look every bit they're 58 years old um but i didn't mind it except you know it hurt and it was lumpy for a while it did eventually settle in and for a while there i was really happy with them but uh, i don't know you know you only get a year out of it clearly it's not still in there um and with the all therapy now that thing hurt like heck so I've never had that done again. I will never put myself through that again. I definitely saw some results with it, but for me, it was way too painful. I know there's people who get it done all the time, but they probably get put under or they have that laughing gas. I didn't, I didn't have any painkillers and it hurt like crazy. So I've never had that done again. I'm noticing that I have things done, I, that I have things done once and I don't have them done again. And I feel like that is the testament to skincare. Like, I feel like if my skincare wasn't doing its thing, that I would be getting lasered more often or getting, you know, whatever more often. But I'm not because I feel like, you know, sleeping on my back and using sunscreen and using Retin-A really has made a difference in my skin. Um, so anyway, then let's fast forward from 2018 to the next year, 2019, where I had a Fraxel dual laser treatment done twice, but not on my face. I had it done on my 
neck and my chest because at that point I wasn't able to use my prescription retinol on my neck anymore. I had used it for the first couple of years, but then I had a debacle with it. And once your skin gets super sensitized, you can't unsensitize it. It just is like that forever. So I was like, oh, I'm tired of having itchy, burning neck. I'm tired of putting things on here and having it be painful. I'm just gonna get it lasered a couple times and then I'll be happy with my neck. Well, the first time I wasn't very happy with it. I didn't feel like it worked very well. My derm did give me a second treatment for free. So she comped that one for me just so I would be more happy with it. And I guess I was really happy with the second one. Then the last procedure I had done was February of 2020, right before pandemic really got going. I had lip filler put in. Uh, so that was just about a year and a half ago. I haven't had that done again. I haven't had anything done during pandemic. I haven't even gotten a haircut. <laughs> um, but um, the lip filler, I liked it. I was really happy with it. Again, went in very conservatively. Most people will put in at least one syringe, usually more like two. Um, I put in less than one syringe. Um, she prepared one syringe. I know I had extra left over. I liked how it looked, but oh man, was it painful the first couple of days. Um, but I feel like it worked really well. The main reason I got it is not because I wanted like huge voluptuous lips. I'm fine with my lips the, the way they are. I was getting little lip lines like this and those creases were bugging me. And so I got the lip filler in and I gotta say it reduced those lip wrinkles, not completely, but by at least half to 75%. So I was really happy with that. And that was the last procedure I had done. I have no appointments to get anything done. Currently, I'm very happy with my skin. I'm very happy with my face in general. It's been quite a journey over the past nine years, but I'm always transparent with you guys. I'm always honest with you guys. If you wanna know anything about anything I've had done, all you have to do is ask me um, in a nice way and I will be happy to answer you. I end every video by saying I hope you found it helpful and informative. I picked those words specifically when I started my channel because that's what I wanted to deliver, a helpful and informative video. So I hope that's what you found this video. If you did, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody, bye-bye.